this is a walkthrough video of 3617 Jaffa. We are here in Southgate. This home is located right on the Philippi Creek. It is a four bedroom, three bath, 2200 square foot home. It has this really nice paver circular driveway and the lot size is pretty incredible. It is one third of an acre, 0.35 acres for the lot size. Jaffa is a great street. Um, all the homes on this side of Jaffa are on the water on the Philippi Creek and this is boatable water. This house comes with a 10,000 pound boat lift. So the entranceway here we have these nice French doors and we walk into the living area here. This home has um, ceramic tile throughout basically everywhere. The living room here, all the windows are updated with dual pane windows. I like this wall. This is a ceramic tile that this whole wall has a nice blue accent which matches the granite in the kitchen. So walking through, we got an oversized dining room here. That's a 10 place dining room set. In the kitchen here, this grant's really pretty. It just has this beautiful blueness to it. And um, it's a really spacious gourmet kitchen here. Has all custom cabinetry. I like, I really like the crown molding where the cabinets meet the uh, ceiling. It's a nice stainless Samsung pass-through type refrigerator. Has a double oven with the microwave up top and the oven down below. Nice cooktop and vent hood. There is a little eat-in area here. So it's a pretty spacious room that is the kitchen and dinette area. All of this looks right out onto the pool and beyond that, the Philippi Creek. So this is a really nice fenced in pool area. And has a glass block bar there. So the master suite opens up onto this pool area. The dining room opens up onto it. We have a pass through to the kitchen, these doors, and then this door actually takes you to the guest suite. So this has a separate entrance for this guest suite, which consists of a really nice bedroom here with windows on all three walls. It has its own mini split so the tenant can adjust the temperature to his or her liking. And then you have a full bathroom with a tub in here. And so this is the guest suite. Lots of linen closet. I'm just gonna close that. I like how all the doors have are just a, an opaque frosted glass. This guest suite has its own bathroom with a nice uh, tiled shower here. It's a niceties in this shower, similar to the floor tile. Again, granite top on this on this vanity and its own little walk-in closet here for this bedroom. This fourth bedroom slash den is really being used as storage right now. And then you have a large two-car garage with a workshop and two separate doors going out. So it's a nice to have this over oversized area in here. The laundry room is in the unit here. So we have uh, just off the kitchen, it has its own separate laundry room. And then the master suite is separate over here. A lot of cool accent lighting all the way around. All the crown molding has neat access lighting, accent lighting. So this is a really good size room because that's a king size bed and there's plenty of room in here. 
Again, we have a walk-in closet with lots of neat built-ins. And then a stone shower. I like the niche. I like the, uh, the half wall and the glass doors. The vessel sinks and another cool, cool granite. A lot of neat stone throughout here. Just gonna walk you down by the dock here. Going back out to the pool area. I'm actually gonna show you this side of the house. There's more deck here. This is composite decking, which is nice. No maintenance on this. And then there's a whole nother paver area over here. I can't. And I don't know if that cat comes with it. So I don't know if the cat conveys. So these are uh, some real neat uh, fruit trees back here. So it's a, it's really is a huge lot because you'll see this lower level here. And this is a retaining wall that goes all the way around the property. You have this fire pit with the propane and another composite deck down there. I just love this area of the creek because it's right at the turn. It just looks so nice. House across the street is for sale, 1.46. And here's that propane fire tank, um, fire pit. Lots of stonework, lots of pavers, lots of cement. Really cool. Pool heater. And then walking down to the boat dock. This house sits up really high so that there's no need for flood insurance. As you can see, probably have 20 feet from the water to the uh, upper terrace. This is nice, this um, composite deck, no maintenance. And a hole down, down um, another backyard down here at the seawall. And the seawall is in very good condition. Um, Having a nice seawall is kind of a big deal. They're very expensive to replace. As you can see, there's seawalls all the way along here. And this seawall is in very good condition. Lots of light. There's power and lights. And this at night, this place really lights up nicely. So basically you have three bridges to get to the big water. You have to go underneath Bee Ridge, Proctor, and then Tamiami Trail. And you come out by the Philippi Creek Oyster Bar. It takes about 45 minutes to get out to the big water. Back here there's uh, more storage. There's a little shed out here and um, a shade sale for more additional parking. back into the into the screened area pretty cool we come back into the dinette and the kitchen and that's all I had to show you I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International 941 735 4974 and as always thanks for watching